I'm a dog and that's true, baby Can we call this here a truce, baby? And you know I got the juice, baby And you see me in this cool, baby Beware of darkness Amazing trap. Here's another moment where I have to apologize on my channel for taking so long to to listen to, to something because you guys were definitely right about this. The Beatles, man, they were just all too great of artists to stay in a group. They were all so creative and they made such great music, but they had their own ideas. I really like this song, man. It's a couple lines in there that really stood out to me. Watch out now, take care, beware of the thoughts that linger. Winding up inside your head, the hopelessness around you, and the dead of the night, beware of sadness. It can hit you, it can hurt you. Make you sore and what is more, that is not what you are here for. As each unconscious sufferer wanders aimlessly. Beware of Maya, and it says in Hinduism, Maya is a term that designs illusion. It refers to accepting the temporary as having lasting value and looking for enduring happiness in the illusionary world. It's just like the power of the mind. Your mind is very powerful whether you believe it or not. You can either use your mind for you or against you. A lot of people use their mind against themselves. Always having negative thoughts, depressing thoughts. I think that stuff is kind of like glorified now because it's like cool to be sad. Don't let those thoughts linger in your head. And that's what he was saying too. That's why I just try to think like positive things because I once was depressed. I used to always be down on myself. I had to realize that I can take control of what I think about. I know the power of my mind. People talk to me all the time, oh man, you got a great mind. And I always had this mind. I was the one standing in the way of myself. There's no limits to you. Don't limit yourself. You are great, you are worth it. Go out there and do what you wanna do and live your life to the fullest. Don't let that sadness, don't let none of that stuff linger, bro. But I really like that song, man, I really do. The song warns against permitting illusion from getting in the way of one's true purpose. In the verses, the listener is warned against various influences that may corrupt him or her among the potential corrupting influences are con men, soft shoe shufflers, politicians, greedy leaders, and pop idols of little substance, falling swingers. In addition, the lyrics warn against negative thoughts, thoughts that linger. Since their growth and influences and negative thoughts can lead to Maya or illusion, which distracts people from the true purpose of life. The middle eight delivers the message that this can hurt you and that this is not what you are here for. That's amazing writing right there. I really agree with that. Next track, Apple Scrubs. <laughs> George Harrison's love song to the Apple Scruffs, the Beatles fans who would wait outside Apple Records hoping to see the band coming or going. That's a beautiful song, man. I didn't know what Apple Scruffs was. Ballad of Sir Frankie Crisp. Let it roll. Sound like, the, it almost sound like The Office. John is currently my favorite Beatle, but I don't know. George Harrison is creeping up. Doom, doom, doom. Let it roll across the floor, through the hall and out the door, to the fountain of perpetual mirth. Let it roll for all it's worth. Find me where he echo lays. Lose your bodies in the maze. See the Lord and all the mouth he feeds. Let it roll among the weeds. Let it roll. The track is a tribute to Frankie Crisp, the original owner of Frere Park, Harrison's home he purchased in 1970. When Harrison purchased the house, he carried out extensive renovations and found many items dating back to Crisp's time as an owner. Harrison, like Chris, was also a keen gardener. The cover art of All Things Must Pass was taken in the grounds of Frere Park and depicts Harrison dressed in garden attire surrounded by garden gnomes taken from Chris's collection of Bavarian gnomes that had recently been purchased by Harrison after they had been stolen somewhere in the 1870s. That's hard though. He made a tribute song to the original owner of a house that he bought. Like, who was doing that? You know what I mean? That's tight. Here's a thrifted jacket. That's like me just thinking one day, oh man. I wonder who had this before me and thinking about all the stuff they went through because this person could be dead, this person could be somewhere living living it up. And I'm just thinking about all the possibilities of it. And then I write a song based on that. That's creativity right there, boy, I tell you. That's fire though. I like that song a lot. That's one of my favorites on here. Let it roll. Waiting on you all.
another great track. This is just inspiring me. I'm doing a little self promo right now, but like you guys should follow me on Snapchat, man. I've been doing this thing um, where I've just been kind of doing like daily motivation. The thing about me is I'm not trying to preach to nobody. I'm literally saying things I'm thinking for myself that I want to help me out loud. I said, let life be inspiring. Let your experiences, good or bad, be lessons. The good can exist without the bad and vice versa. Embrace it all. Life is beautiful. Live it and love it fearlessly. If your life was always peaches and cream, you wouldn't know what, what being low feels like. And being low humbles you. So when you get high, you never take that for granted. All things must pass. Let's get right into it. Beautiful track, man. I know I'm saying the same things every time, but like these are incredible tracks. I love the instrumental in there, but I really love the things he was saying because it kind of aligns with what I was just saying in the last song. There's duality in life. The good can't exist without the bad, and the bad can't exist without the good. But I like what he's saying. All things must pass. The sunrise doesn't last all morning. The sunset doesn't last all evening. That's why you gotta embrace all sides of life. It can't always just be good, but it won't always just be bad. The sunrise is beautiful. The sunset is beautiful, but they both don't last. You know? Sunrise doesn't last all morning. A cloudburst doesn't last all day. Seems my love is up and has left you with no warning. It's not always going to be this gray. It's not. All things must pass, bro. Every time those storm clouds come in and it starts to pour down, it's like, damn, it's raining. It's going to stop raining and the sun's going to come back out. But the thing is, I like the rain too. But I also like the sun. I like it all, bruh. And I might sound like, I don't even know what I sound like. I might sound crazy. Like, even though, man, we, we hate it. Everything has to go. I gotta go one day. Everyone I love has to go one day. Then that shit's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt so bad. But all things must pass. You got to spend time with those people. You got to create memories with those people. You got to love those people, and you got those people to love you. And that shit is beautiful, bro. The music is George's homage to Robbie Robertson and the band, while the lyrics are based on ideas of several Eastern mystics and philosophers. Another one of my favorites on here. I dig love. short love in any port love's always there to see make love take love but you should give love and try to live love come on that's where you should be art of dying it's going crazy on the guitar really love the writing on that track. There'll come a time where all of us must leave here. There's nothing Sister Mary can do. Will keep me here with you. It's nothing in this life that I've been trying can equal or surpass the art of dying. There'll come a time where all your hopes are fading, where things seem so very plain, become an awful pain. Searching for the truth among the lying, an answer where you've learned the art of dying, are you still with me? But if you want it, then you must find it. But when you have it, there will be no need for it. There will come a time where most of us return here, brought back by our desire to be a perfect entity, living through a million years of crying until you realize the art of dying. Can you believe me? This is one video I watched. It's this idea that you live every life. So I could be living this life right now. I mean, this 20-year-old young black man, but I was probably... A young Chinese woman one time, or I was probably an old white man, or I was probably a slave, or I was probably a king. The basic concept of it is like you, you live every life, and after you lived every life, you see it all, and you transcend to become like a god, basically. And I don't know if that's exactly what he's saying, but like that's just what this kind of reminds me of, especially like the last lines. There'll come a time when most of us return here brought back by our desire to be a perfect entity, Living through a million years of crying until you realize the art of dying. Living through the good times and the bad times in a bigger scale. Me right now, I'm being like a middle class kid. Like I, I've had times where I've been down bad. I ain't had no money. And like my family ain't had no money. There's people who 
stay in that position. I mean, so I might not understand their position fully. So in another life, I might live that. And then I'll understand that side of it. And then I'll understand the high class part of it. And then I'll understand the art of dying. Art of dying is a song about reincarnation. It was written when Harrison first became immersed in Hindu spirituality. I like this spiritual writing though, it's really good. Isn't it a pity version two? I really don't know how much that differed from the first version of Isn't It a Pity. You have to re-listen and then compare and contrast the two. Hear me, Lord. Hear me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, please. Those years when I ignored you. Forgive them, Lord, those that feel they can't afford you. Help me, Lord, please, to rise above this dealing. Help me, Lord, please, to love you with more feeling. At both ends of the road, to the left and the right, above and below us, out and in, there's no place that you're not in. Oh, won't you hear me, Lord? Help me, Lord, please, to rise a little higher. Help me, Lord, please, to burn out this desire. Help me, Lord, please. This might be one of the best albums I've, like, reacted to. I remember tweeting back in like 2016 that one day I'm probably gonna make gospel music. You know what I mean? Or just spiritual music or just something about God because I always believed in God. It was never like a time where like I was just like all right full out atheist. I mean I have my questions about God. That's what I think that's everybody. Whether you say it out loud or not like everybody questions if God is real because you don't know until God shows you. But Harrison uses his hymn to beg forgiveness from God. He acknowledges his weakness in a similar way to the Christian Lord's Prayer. It's Johnny's birthday. Johnny. Lucky creepy, but it says it's a tribute to John Lennon's 30th birthday. It's Johnny's birthday. Plug me in. Okay, so that was just an instrumental. I remember Jeep. Another instrumental. <laughs> Thanks for the pepperoni. Another instrumental. Out of the blue, which is the last track. Another instrumental. I like that one. I think I like that one the best. Especially like the little slow down part in the middle. That was my reaction to George Harrison's all things must pass. From a first listen standpoint, I really liked it, man. I like the spiritual topics that he decided to speak on. But I like the length in terms of like listening because it's like he had a lot to say and he got it out. You know what I mean? After being, you know, limited in that group. But I really like this. I really like this album a lot. It's one of my favorites that I've that I've listened to on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you did, please leave a like down below. Please go ahead and subscribe if you have not turned on my notifications to be notified every single time that I upload. Yeah, squad, 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 gang, gang, gang. It's your boy, Nick T. And I am out this thing.